Well, my name is uh, Dr. Matthew Tasheri. I'm Canada Research Chair in Human Origins at Lakehead University and uh, Research Associate in the Human Origins Program at the Smithsonian Institution. Uh, my specialty is paleoanthropology, so I study uh, human origins and human evolution. The last few decades have been uh, sort of a blossoming of paleoanthropological research. Lots of new findings from the human fossil record, uh, lots of new findings from genetics, lots of new findings from a whole array of research that come together to provide new information about human origins. Several decades ago, each fossil was put into its place in sort of one sort of single lineage, leading from uh, early man uh, through to, say, Neanderthal man to, through to us. Uh, however, as more and more people have uh, found fossils uh, throughout the, uh, the old world, from Africa all the way through uh, Europe and Asia, we now realize uh, our evolutionary story is, is a lot more like the evolutionary story of other animals, that it wasn't just a simple uh, linear evolution of features uh, leading to us, that in fact uh, our family tree is much more bushy uh, and there were lots of cousins essentially that uh, unfortunately have gone extinct and we're the only ones left of this otherwise quite diverse group. Our species, modern humans, uh, Homo sapiens, first evolves in Africa roughly about 200,000 years ago. And we know that from the earliest fossil evidence of our species, as well as modern human genetics. Uh, so all the DNA in our, in our bodies today lead back to a common ancestor, ancestral population that was living about 200,000 years ago. Now Neanderthals are essentially the descendants of earlier uh, hominins that left Africa probably about 500,000 uh, years ago. You can look at it as the common ancestor that we share with Neanderthals, part of that uh, part of that uh, group left Africa around that time and then basically got isolated from the population still living in Africa. And roughly about 200,000 years ago, our species evolves from the populations that stayed in Africa and Neanderthals uh, evolved from those that had stayed in, in, uh, in Eurasia. Well, we know uh, that we shared the planet with Neanderthals, uh, but Neanderthals are also very much like us. They have very large brains, uh, they're larger bodied, their body proportions are the same as us, and they also use very sophisticated uh, uh, tools. Uh, and they lived in cold climates, you know, used, used fire in controlled ways. Uh, and so sharing the planet with something like that, which is otherwise, you know, very recognizably human, uh, is easy for us to picture. Uh, but Homo fresiensis, when it was discovered, uh, it also overlapped in time with uh, our species, as well as Neanderthals, but was isolated often in the Indonesian island of Flores. Now it's very surprising because it doesn't look like a Neanderthal, it doesn't look like us. It looks more like uh, hominin species that we find in the fossil record uh, roughly one to three million years ago in Africa. And yet it's extremely far away and, uh, and found uh, in sediments that overlap with, with our species. So to see, the, see that we shared this planet, not only with Neanderthals, but as well with another more distantly related cousin uh, is really quite remarkable.